What's up guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I want to show you how to split a PDF into uh, multiple uh, PDF files. And uh, on my desktop I have this PDF file and I'm going to open it uh, in Google Chrome so that we can have a look at it. So it's a 10, p uh, 10 page PDF and we're going to split, uh, we're going to make each page a standalone uh, file. We're going to do that in Adobe, uh, Adobe Acrobat Pro. So I'm going to close that and I'm going to open up uh, the Adobe Acrobat application. So I'm going to uh, to click on files and then open. We saw the file is on the desktop. So I'm going to choose desktop and click on the file, then click open. And then you can reduce the zoom extent. So this is the file. And if we expand that, we can have a look at the thumbnails. So the tool that we want to use is called uh, Organize Pages. If you can't find it on the right hand side, you can find it on tools. Just click on tools at the top here. So you can also, if it's not there, you can drag and place it there. So if you click on organize, so you can see that we have all these uh, pages displayed in the in this kind, in this manner. And the tool that you want to use is called split. You can see you have uh, several other tools you have replaced. Uh, we have tools to insert uh, PDF files. We have extract. So let's go to uh, split. So when you click on split, uh, different ribbons are going to be displayed or tools. And you can see uh, that uh, we have different method of splitting uh, PDF pages. So if you click on that, you can see uh, three methods. Uh, you split by number of pages. You can split by file size and you can split by top level bookmarks. So today we are going to use a uh, number of pages, click on that. So you can choose to split by uh, two pages, but for this case, I'm going to split by a single page so that we can make all these uh, pages into a single standalone uh, file. So we are going to have uh, 10 uh, standalone files. So uh, when you have selected the number of pages, uh, go to output click on the output options uh, and it's going to open up this uh, output options dialog box where you want where you can select where you want to store the files so the first selection is the same folder selected the start i don't want if you want to uh, store these files in the same folder where you have the original uh, file you can do that uh, for this case, I'm going to choose another folder. So I'm going to put it inside desktop. And then I can right click and create a new folder. And say uh, split uh, PDFs. A simple name like that. And then click enter and click select. Now uh, let go to labeling section and uh, so this this deals with the file names how we're going to label the uh, the files so the first one is add a uh, label and number before original name i'm going to select the second one add label and numbers after original num uh, name and use label so here you can select that part or you can customize that and give it another name like say volume uh, so also the separator between original and label you can select hyphen and uh, underscore wherever and this is the this is important the third one do not override uh, existing file but if you want to override everything the original file you can go ahead and, and select this but for this case i'm going to also have a copy of the original file so i'm going to click ok and then uh, finally click split so you can see now is uh, we have uh, 10 uh, file pdf files so if i click if i close this and go to this folder that i created while uh 
exporting the data you can double click and see that uh, we have uh, 10 uh, pdf files uh, which is the which are the 10 pages from these original pdfs and you can see that uh, we replaced the, that part with the volumes so that's it uh, i hope this tutorial is easy to understand and follow along and uh, see you in the next tutorial